Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies. Now here on day 90, part 2. And Watching Chickies is the daily live stream here on Reddit and then later YouTube about the lives and development. of these three young chickens. And I was just t trying to type with one hand um, over here and I kept messing up. All right, well, here we go, here we go, could go away. And she's kind of singing on my shoulder now. We had another little technical error just a, a minute ago here. And we are on to part two. Uh, watching Chickies is the daily live stream featuring the lives and development of these three young chickens. Um, right here on my shoulder is our little Pigome, our Onigadori chicken. And the Onigadori is an endangered breed of chicken from Japan. Right here, um, if the camera turns around, here we go. In uh, black is our Ayam Samani chicken named Braveheart. And the Ayam Samani comes from Southeast Asia and is well known for its hyperpigmentation, this black coloration that goes all the way down to her very bones. And right here is our little rooster named Stormy. And Stormy is a silky chicken and he will forever be covered in this fur-like feathers. They originally come from China and were first bred around 2,000 years ago. And the chickens are really just kind of cuddling in now. Oh, I think Braveheart wanted to go up on my arm for some reason. Oh dear, oh dear. Did you want to go up here onto the... Oh, no, you just wanted to be on my arm? I think she just wanted to... Uh, Perch on my arm. Oh dear, oh dear. You know, that just makes it harder to give you lovely pets there. Oh my. A disobedient little chicken there. And hello there, Raya Dumbledore. And hello there, Bananas. Kagome is just content doing a bit of preening right there on my shoulder. And preening is the process in which the little chickens make sure that they are lovely and clean. Um, I think... Uh, Braveheart right now is actually just kind of wiping her beak and trying to clean her feet of the uh, yogurt she stepped in a minute ago. And she's just kind of preening off some of the little bits she left there. Well, little Stormy over here is just content to be where he is, just sitting really quietly, kind of listening into the girls and just having a lovely time. I think he just kind of enjoys the warmth of sitting on Dad's lap. Uh, silkies are brilliant little lap chickens. They can be content just sitting with you for hours if you let them. Without a little care in the world. They are very people-friendly chickens. Especially when you hand-raise them. Like we hand-raised all of our lovely chickens. We pick them up every day. We give them lovely little pets. And because of that, they kind of seek out the human companionship. Um, honor chickens that you might see on farms or like videos and stuff are a lot more skittish around people. And that's just because they haven't been hand raised. To them, people are just these big scary monsters that are simply after their eggs. And I will always give lovely pets to all of our good little chickies here. No worries about that, hi no. There we go, there we go. And we um, start this stream every day at uh, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it has been a lovely way to kind of document our little chickens' lives. It's kind of started off a bit randomly on day one, 
but I have really enjoyed just kind of um, continuing on this little tradition here, meeting um, a lot of new friends and just having lovely chats each day. Oh, and hello there, VR Pablo. And 27, yes, our little Stormy here is an extremely chill rooster. The only time that he ever does kind of lose his chill to a degree is when I'm taking them out to the coop, because occasionally, um, if I'm by myself taking them out when my partner Lauren is out at work, um, I have to take first Kagome and Braveheart, and then I have to take Stormy separately. And the second that Stormy loses sight of the girls, he starts to make a little racket. He makes all of these loud clucking noises, and he could even start crowing. I think that's just because he's worried about where they're going, and he doesn't want to be left alone. Chickens are extremely social animals, and that's one of the reasons why when you get um, little chickens like this, you want to make sure that they are in a little group. There we go, there we go. Lovely little chickens. And hello there, me brew. And the aim of this broadcast is just to watch the little chickens as they go about their um, usual day as they grow and develop. And as we watch, we just kind of relax and just appreciate them. Um, I love responding to our um, audience here. I can answer questions, we can chat a little bit, and just kind of center ourselves. You know, there's a lot going on in the world, um, and sometimes it's nice just to let things go and appreciate just a few little things, even if it, that's just a chicken relaxing on your screen. And Rixty, yes, um, I can kind of notice their body language at this point. You know, if they're ever feeling um, kind of flustered or lonely or hungry, you start to identify their body language and you start to identify the little calls that they make. Um, chickens can make a variety of different sounds, little clucks, little chirps, little squawks, and all of them can mean different things. Ooh, that was a big feather Kagome pulled out, and I wouldn't have even thought that this was a Kagome feather. This it must be one of her sort of feathers right there that um, is underneath the others. Interesting, little white one there. Part of her um, undercoat, I believe. Interesting, interesting. Just floated right down at me. Oh, and Daunting Walnut, well, thank you for the recharge award. That is much appreciated. And for all of you out there that might be having lunch or something right now, I hope you're having a nice tasty lunch. I hope you're relaxing a bit and having a good time. Oh, hello there, Braveheart. Hello. And I think I might have accidentally not put a part two for this video that we're doing right now. I think I might have given it the same title by accident. Oh dear, oh dear. Maybe I can edit that after the fact. I am not sure. Well, that'll be one thing I can kind of try to figure out. I've never tried to edit a post in uh, midway through. But you know, that could be something that I can attempt in a bit. Or I'll just figure it out later. I don't want to confuse people later because we do uh, post these videos on our YouTube channel. Oh well, I'll just have to look at the timestamps. There we go, there we go. 
and all of these little chickens are members of our family and friends for life. Now we never have to worry about them being eaten. Uh, we just get to watch them um, just kind of grow, develop, and live their best little lives. You know, the plan right now is just to continue on this series for the foreseeable future. And, you know, maybe within uh, the next six to eight months, we might actually be seeing these little chickies have their own little chicks, especially if it is true right here that our little Stormy is indeed a rooster. So we'll be seeing a few little hybrid silky chickens. And the plan is now, um, myself and Lauren <clears throat> are going to be expanding the little chickies play area in here. We have more parts to add. We've gotten some new toys and we should be able to kind of debut the sort of new environment for them um, come this Monday. Um, Rixty. Well, it's kind of sad to contemplate what might happen to these chickens once they pass. Um, hopefully, they live a full, long lifespan, which should be around 12 years, or maybe a bit more. I'm hoping a bit more. Um, but, you know, I, I think in that case, we would probably just bury them. I, I really wouldn't attempt to eat a pet. That would be kind of stepping over a line that I would never do. And it would be a very sad occasion. But I would try to hold on to the lovely memories that I have with these little chickens and just appreciate the time that we had with all of them. And, you know, these videos are quite a good way of recording that. We have all of these little snippets of them each and every day of their lives. And they're good ways of just kind of connecting to them. There we go. There we go. Oh, Kagome. Wiggling her tail there, having a little bit of a yawn. You're gonna go for a stretch now. Oh my. Oh, lots more preening. Oh, and she just... Well, sometimes she eats some of her little bits of dandruff that she leaves on my shoulder. And it's funny at times, you know, if I keep on the same shirt and I go out, someone asks me, Oh, do you have a dandruff issue? I'm like, oh no, that's just some... Um, bird dandruff on my shoulder. There we go. And yes, Stormy tends to have lots of sleepy times here with me. <gasps> Hello, Stormy. Hello. Is your little beak out there? <gasps> oh dear, oh dear. Kagome heard a trunk on the street there. And she gave out just a little trill. And there, Braveheart kind of responded with her own little raptor noises. There we go, there we go. Oh my, yeah, it's just a truck. You don't need to worry about trucks, my little guard chickens. And these days, they spend most of their time out in their outdoor coop, so they do occasionally hear trucks and cars from the street but don't worry guys they'll never come Ooh, hello there stormy oh stormy's just kind of opening his beak right now are you thinking about the yogurt do you want me to bring you down to the yogurt they do have still quite a bit down there and i think he might be a little bit eager to have some more i could be wrong but let's see if our little Stormy wants to eat some more. So I'm gonna pick him up. Here we go. There we go, there we go. Did you want some more yogurt? Oh my, oh my. There you go, my guys, there you go. It's right there. Still ready and eager to be wet, to be eaten. There you go, guys, there you go. Oh. 
Yep, little Stormy wanted the yogurt. <laughs> Wanna come here, Kagome? Here. Here, there you go. There you go. And there is our Kagome with her lovely long tail. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely, lovely yogurt. And she's already getting a new little yogurt mustache there. Oh, and faux phantom. Well, you know, these days, after spending so much time with the chickens, you can kind of get a sense of what they're thinking um, when you look at them. Um, it can sometimes take me a few minutes to kind of get the message, but at least I kind of recognized what Stormy wanted there eventually. Oh, I'm going to look out for the girls there for a second, but he's kind of kind battling his instinct for eating a bit more yogurt there. He's seeing Kagome enjoy it, and he's just thinking, hmm, I need to be on watch now, but I do love that yogurt. Oh my. Nope, a little scratch there by Braveheart. And it's lovely just to see them be so peaceful there. Just enjoying their treats, enjoying their day. And soon they'll be out in the yard just kind of frolicking about. More lovely yogurt for the handsome little Stormy there. There you go, Stormy. Eat your fill today. It is your lovely quarter birthday, and I am just so proud of you guys. 90 days, three months old. You know, in three more months, the girls will start to be making their own eggs. And there will be a chance that our little Stormy might be fertilizing some of them. Um, a fairyist. Well, I think Kagome might be the most, um, might be the sort of head hen. Uh, Braveheart is a little bit too chill and laid back, even though she is the biggest, to really take charge. Uh, Stormy, technically, I think, should probably be in charge as the rooster, but because of his size, um, neither one of the hens seem to take him all that seriously. Oh, hello there, Polarity. Always lovely to see you here on the broadcast, and I hope your broadcast just went so brilliantly. The little chickies are enjoying some lovely yogurt. As sort of a little quarter birthday present there. They didn't really enjoy the, um, Japanese okonomiyaki that's in the corner, but maybe they'll give it more of a chance 